50%. That's how much a new study says teens depend on their phones. Now, this is a concern for some parents, but how many teens are truly addicted to their smart devices and the Internet? That's the question 27 First News reporter Lindsay Watson asked this evening. Well, that answer, it's difficult to say. Now, according to this study conducted by Common Sense Media, whether it's an addiction or not, two-thirds of parents feel that their teens spend too much time on their mobile devices, and 52% of teens actually agree. So we asked, what do local teens and parents think? According to a new study, 50% of teens say they're digitally addicted to their mobile devices. You walk anywhere, someone's on their phone, either they're calling, they're texting, they're tweeting, they're on Instagram, Facebook, anything, they're talking to someone except for the people that they're walking with. The poll also said that nearly 80% of teens check their phones hourly, while 72% feel the need to respond immediately. Nine times out of ten, walking in the public, schools, traffic, everyone's always on their phone. It's not even just teenagers. I'd say adults, young children, someone's got any type of social media, cell phone, Android, tablet, iPad, it's always in their hands. And parents might complain about the amount of time that their teens spend on their phones, but they admit that sometimes they have trouble unplugging too. I think there's a real, um, a real limiting on the amount of uh, expression that people have now um, because they're so used to just working on the, you know, with their cell phones and such. While internet addiction is viewed as a public health threat in other parts of the world, it's not recognized as a disorder in the U.S. And physicians say more studies need to be done to determine how real digital addiction can be. Now, it's not all bad news. According to the study, close to 40% of teens actually do try to cut down the amount of time that they spend on their mobile devices. Live in the studio tonight, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27, First News at 11.